Hello, friends, and welcome to Coffee and Conversation. Coming from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. And friend, there's just not a better place to find an encouraging word than in the precious Bible. And uh, friend, if you will today, take yours, turn with me over to Matthew's Gospel, chapter number six. I want us to look at a portion of verse number four as our text verse of scripture. Get that good fresh cup of hot coffee. Let's sit together, have an encounter with God and his precious word on this beautiful day. Well, amen. Just not a better way to start a brand new day than fresh coffee and a wonderful word from the precious Bible. All right, uh, Matthew chapter 6, the latter portion of verse number 4. Look at what the Bible says here. Thy father which seeth in secret himself shall reward thee openly. And I pray that God would add his blessings to the reading of that precious and holy word. Well, friend, today I want to bring to you a thought that uh, I've titled, Who God Really Is. Do you ever wonder what you should say uh, to God? I mean, have you ever really thought about that? What you should really say to God? Now, it's very important that we listen to him uh, and not just raffle off a laundry list of requests, but engaging him and engaging him respectfully when you approach him. In Matthew's Gospel, chapter 6, Jesus provides for us a wonderful pattern of prayer. And he begins by talking uh, about who he is, who he really is, our Father who art in heaven. Now, the focal point of prayer is to be an intimate time with God, a loving fellowship with God. God is unfathomably wise. God is wonderful and powerful. And friend, God is a loving God. So Jesus reminds us that he is to be respected. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Our relationship with Father God is one of reverence and one of adoration. We adore him for who he really is. So, friend, as you approach God, show your love for him. Show your respect for him by listening and committing to what pleases him and sharing your innermost hurts, your innermost needs, and your innermost desires. God longs to hear that from you. Yes, he's God. He already knows, but he longs to hear that from you. God longs for companionship with you. And prayer is how you build up your relationship with God. So when you pray, start by focusing your attention on God's character, who he really is. Have you ever thought about who he really is? You got a minute? First of all, he's a God of love. The Bible says, for God so loved the world. Not only is he a God of love, but secondly, he's a God of mercy. We didn't deserve mercy, but he has shown us mercy. Thirdly, my friend, he is a God of holiness. The Bible says, holiness without no man shall see God. So as he is holy, he wants us to be holy. And we can't do that without Jesus. Fourthly, 
He is a God of power. And he shares his power. For you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses. So he shares his power. Fifthly, he is a God of grace. He's redeeming at the expense of Christ. He is a God of grace. Those five things are so important to realize when you think about who God really is. He's a God of love, a God of mercy, a God of holiness, a God of power, and a God of grace. Now, worshiping God sets your heart to honor him, to magnify him, to magnify his ability, to magnify his presence, while diminishing the size and scope of your problems. Too many of us walk around and wallow in seeing how big our problem is, instead of stopping and realizing who God really is and just how big he is. The victory is ours through the Lord Jesus Christ. For God so loved you that he gave his only begotten son that if you would but believe in him that you could have everlasting life. And that's God's greatest desire. So worship him and serve him for who he really is. He is God. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this powerful devotion that reminds us of who you really are. And as we approach you in our secret place, God, you reward us openly as we honor you, as we adore you, and as we worship you for who you are the creator of life itself. Thank you, dear Lord, for this opportunity you give us. You didn't have to, but you loved us enough to trust us to walk into your presence, and we're thankful for that. Now, God, I pray this devotion may reach into the lives of some and uh, pick up their spirits and just let them know that you are a God of uh, wonderful love and you care. In Jesus' name. Amen. Well, friend, we do have a God who cares, and how wonderful it is to have that God who cares. Uh, can you share him with the world today? Let others see Christ in you. Your life could be the only Bible they'll ever see, so let them see and hear Jesus in what you say and in what you do, and show them who God really is. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.